Good morning children. In today's class we are going to see the next chapter in our biology that is chapter 3 fiber to fabric. You have learnt in your lower grades that is in the 6th standard the fibers will be made into yarn and from the yarn we get the fabric right. So these fibers are of two types natural fibers and artificial fibers the natural fibers will include cotton jute wool silk and artificial fibers will include polyester nylon acrylic this natural fibers are again from two sources plant sources and animal sources the plant fibers are nothing but your cotton and jute which is obtained from the plant Animal fibers are wool and silk obtained from the animals. As you know already that wool is obtained from the animal, sheep, goat, right? And silk is obtained from the silkworm. So now in this chapter we are going to see the fibers which are all obtained from the animals. We are going to discuss both wool and silk how it is obtained from the animals as fiber and how the fabrics are made of clear so let us start with the wool first wool is obtained from the animals like sheep and goat so in our country what are the other animals which gives wool as fibers means goat sheep yak alpaca camel angora rabbit llama and angora goat okay you need to keep at least three in your mind example goat sheep and yak these animals have a thick coating of hair inside in on their skin layer okay that hair only we take it and use it as wool in our fabrics we use wool as a fiber to pr to produce fabrics like sweaters the sweaters we use in winter season is mainly because for the warmthness okay so the sheep and goat have hair on their body so the hair is also called by the name fleece okay fleece is nothing but the hair this hair on the animal's body is of two type coarse beard hair and fine soft hair okay the animals will have the beard and that hairs will be very thick and on the layer of skin the hairs will be fine i mean fine in the sense small and soft in nature so the hair obtained from the animals is of two types coarse beard hair and fine soft hair we most pr probably prefer only the fine soft hair for the preparation of wool the hair in the animal's body collects a lot of air okay traps a lot of air means collect and store it it only collects but it does not let it out it stores inside them itself okay the animals will collect lot of air and store it inside the hair layers so that it will be having some warmthness the air around us will be collected by the hair of the animal and it is stored inside it since air is a poor conductor of heat what do you mean by poor conductor poor conductor means which do not conduct electricity you have learned that in your grade 6 right as we know that already air does not produces heat we have campfires uh, burning of candle and all but is the fire in the candle and campfire spread to the air does the air catches fire no so air is a poor conductor of heat 
and and so the animals will collect the air inside them and store it the animals are generally used to give the hair only during the summer season because in winter season the collected air in the hair layers will make the animal's body warm and the sheep and goat will survive in winter season whereas in summer season the hair layers which are all which are all thick will be uncomfortable to the animal so that is the main reason we remove the hair from the animal's body especially in summer now we are going to see the rearing and breeding of sheeps what is meant by rearing rearing means growing of the animals how do we take care of them okay so generally sheep and the goats are herbivores herbivores means plant eating animals they depend on plants for their food they eat grass and leaves and the owner of the sheep that is the shepherd will also provide them pulses corn and oil cakes oil cakes is nothing but my dear children that is the leftover material once the oil is taken from the seed coconut oil mustard oil groundnut oil these are all the nuts and seeds once the grinding of the seed is over we get the oil the leftover material of the seeds after extracting oil from them is is called as oil cakes that are all used as food materials for animals even cows do eat oil cakes so this is how the shepherd grows the sheep by providing the necessary food for them and he even takes out for grazing in winter season the animals are kept indoor and they are all taken care leaves grain and dry fodder are given to them as food materials the reason why are we taking a lot of effort in rearing the sheep and goats for the wool is only if they are reared properly we would get a good quality of wool from them similarly how we grow chicken and uh, cows to get uh, the food material non veg chicken and um, milk from the cow respectively the sheep and goats also reared in a proper manner they are maintained with proper care okay children next we are going to see how the sheep are breeded what is meant by breeding breeding means to produce the offspring okay as we know already that for a good quality of wool we need a thick coating of hair that hair we discussed already that it is of two type that is the beard hair and the fine soft hair lying on the skin layer we prefer the fine soft hair for the wool preparation to obtain a good quality wool of fine soft and a thick coating of hair we need to choose the animals which are having fine soft hairs these are the animals which gives us wool goat sheep yak camel alpaca llama angora goat and angora rabbit they may have either coarse beard hair or fine soft hair in them now if i keep on choosing coarse beard hair that specific species of animals will be getting extinct and if i choose fine soft hair that specific animal species will become extinct soon 
right if i keep on depending on alpaca for wool and if i keep on depending on yak for a wool the demand of the people is increasing for fabrics so i cannot depend on the animal sources regularly right so i am going to to choose the parents through a process of selective breeding it means i will choose the animals as parent based upon my need and the newborn young animals will have the specific character like fine soft hair so that the demand for the animals will be satisfied let us see one example if i choose a male parent of angora goat and if i also choose a female parent that is your that is a mummy parent of another angora goat then the newborn baby will be of the angora goat type okay if it has the fine soft hair and the, this also has a fine soft hair the newborn baby will also have a fine soft hair so there won't be any extent of this specific animal species clear so i will choose the parents based upon the demand okay that process of choosing the parents is called as selective breeding so what did we see today we saw how the wool is obtained from the animals the various animals which gives us wool and their texture of hair and its types were discussed how these animals are reared and breeded breeded is nothing but choosing the parents that process is called as selective breeding to choose the parents based upon the demand of wool understood my dear children i will stop with this if you have any doubt you can call me let us continue in the next class thank you